just coming on to the uh, 14th par four now. So uh, let's see how we go here. Right guys, just on the 14th hole here in um, on the Paris Court East. So just teed it up. It's a par four, dog leg left. It's relatively short, but uh, there's a bit of a breeze today, um, kind of making this one a bit of an awkward one. So I'm going to try and go over those trees with a bit of cut and uh, bring it back into the fairway. Uh, it goes up to a raised elevated green, which is a team actually I'm starting to notice, but uh, let's see how we go with the drive. Get my starting line. Okay, so. Just commit to it. Perfect. That's really good, Mark. Wow, that's down there. That nearly ran out of ran out of runway. Really good. Exactly as I envisage it in my head, which doesn't happen very often. But let's get down there. So really happy with that drive, actually. So. Uh, one thing I've noticed actually in my golf game is when I actually <coughs> tell myself what I'm trying to do with my golf shot, like say it out loud, it often kind of um, helps me. So I don't know whether that's just me or it's a sign of psychosis or whatever, but by telling myself what shot I'm looking to do, I'm sure there's some psychological stuff behind that, but really helps me at that point. So really, really good drive. Like started on the line I wanted, had a bit of cut, and as we come up to it now, if I turn the camera around, you can see the, the raised green there. And you can see my ball here nearly ran out of runway or landing strip, however you want to say it. So very, very happy with that drive. That would be on the, the longer end of the scale for me. Now it's all about the approach shot. Okay, so as I said, decent drive. Just going to measure this up now. So we've 65 yards to the pin. So I'm going to try and... Uh, I'm going to try and um, get a nice 58 degree wedge on this, try and put a bit of spin on it. Um, this is a tricky green and it's a tricky approach because you can't see where you're landing the ball, which I don't like. I hate that type of shot. So 58 degree, ball back in my stance. I'm going to get down the club a little bit, make sure the club face is nice and square to my target into a decent, decent posture and I just want to rotate back and through. And I just want to concentrate on exiting left and hitting the ball first. Now, it was a great contact, but I pulled it. So it's safely on. I would actually say the swing wasn't too bad. It's just, I got a bit jerky at the end and I, I pulled it, but it's safely on, two puts for a par. So I'm just going to do a couple of holes and um, videos um, not in sequence today because um, there's a the green keeper I'm out very early the green keepers are around so I got interrupted on a couple of the holes which is fine it's no problem so um, if you're wondering why this video is a bit all over the place in terms of the sequencing that's why it's just because I'm trying to get as much as I can in so let's just park this up here so it's pin high that ball I pulled it left but I should have a relatively straightforward two puts for a par so let's grab my putter so if I turn around here, or if I turn the camera around, I should say, there's the there's my ball over there. If you can see, there's the pin, and then there's a the little bit of a dog leg. As you can see, it comes up to the up to the left, and then up the hill there to an elevated green. So um, nice little hole, but at the same time, as you can see, it's no no point hitting uh, you know good drives and then not having a good approach. So I've got a very difficult. Uh, well, I'm not going to be looking to hold this but I'm definitely going to be looking to get a, a tap in par. So uh, disappointed with that approach shot. I've been you know, playing very well with my wedges lately. So let's see how we, see we, go. Let's see how we go with them. Settle now, settle, settle, settle. Look at that go now, my goodness. Oof. Under pressure now to make that for par. That is not an easy putt. Look how much I've left myself. So if I bring the camera back, look how much I've left myself for par now. That's not a tap in par. That's very bad. It's a bad putt. I should have started out more left and a little bit lighter on pace, but there you go. So this should be off the left, up the hill. So these ones you either decide to go with the break 
or you try and put firm and through it. This one I'm gonna try and put firm and through it. Like that, very good. Jesus, I don't have to give myself pressure for power puts. All right, 